What are you eating, Moby? Sock flavored chips? Hmm. This has 10 grams of fat and only 2 grams of protein. What is mass? Everything around us is made of matter. Yep, you and I are both made of matter. Even the air we breathe is made of matter. Mass is the amount of matter in something. Since all things are made up of matter, all things have mass. We use metric units like grams and kilograms to measure mass. What are grams? A paper clip has a mass of about one gram. A pen cap also has the mass of about one gram. Right, a peanut is about one gram too. Moby, I think an average strawberry is greater than one gram. Let's measure to find out for sure. Let's see. This strawberry has a mass of seven grams. The abbreviation for grams is G. This apple has a mass of 192 grams, so its mass is greater than the strawberry's mass. You can use a balance scale to measure mass. Uh, not quite, Moby. A balance scale has a beam with a container on each end. When you put something on one end, the beam tips. Each of these is one gram. You add them one by one on the other end of the scale until the beam is even. Most scales have a guide that tells you when it's balanced. So the mass of this raspberry is about three grams. What are kilograms? One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. A baseball bat, a dictionary, a pineapple, and a bag of flour are each about one kilogram. This cantaloupe has a mass of about two kilograms. The abbreviation for kilograms is kg. This watermelon has a mass of about five kilograms. This tiger has a mass of about 213 kilograms. Moby, where did you get that? You got it in aisle three? Which unit should you use when you measure mass? When you measure mass, think about what unit you want to use. Grams are good units when you measure things with smaller masses. I know a carrot is less than one kilogram, so it's better to measure it in grams. For larger things, it makes more sense to measure in kilograms. Uh, right. You can measure people in kilograms. Anyway, Moby, those sock-flavored chips aren't very healthy. What are you eating now? Toe cheese doodles. Yuck! You think Selden's gotten longer? We should measure him. You got a ruler? That's okay, Moby. How do you measure without a ruler? I know that length is how long something is, width is how wide something is, and height is how tall or high something is. Selden isn't very tall or wide, but he is long. Let's use something to figure out Selden's length. Well, it's easier if we use something that's flat and straight. 
We can line up crayons to find out Selden's length. It's important to line them up in a straight line with no gaps. Or else we couldn't get an accurate measurement. Selden is one, two, three, almost four crayons long. You found it! A ruler can help us find exact measurements. What are inches? Well, an inch is a unit of measurement, and we can use inches to measure small objects. When you measure something with a ruler, it's really important to line it up with the zero. Right. This bolt is one inch long. We abbreviate inches as I-N period. Let's measure it. This screw is a little more than two inches long. It's longer than the bolt. This nail is close to four inches long. It's the longest. So, how long is your birdhouse, Moby? That's a gigantic birdhouse. Uh, we should use it as a doghouse instead. <laughs> Maybe you measured it using feet instead of inches. How can you measure using feet? For longer objects, we can measure in units called feet. Well, kind of, except we have different sizes of feet. If we measured with your foot, we'd get a different measurement than if we measured with my foot. That's why we have one standard foot that is the same. This ruler is one foot long, which is equal to 12 inches. Let's see. Your doghouse is about one, two, three feet high. This is the abbreviation for feet. F-T. I guess there are tons of ways to measure. Maybe in a few weeks we can measure Selden again and see if he's grown. <laughs> nice hat, Moby. I'm doing a science experiment. Hmm. It says here I need one liter of water and three milliliters of food coloring. What is volume? Volume is the amount of space something takes up. It describes how much a container can hold. Measuring cups, measuring spoons, beakers, droppers, and graduated cylinders are all tools we use to measure volume. It's important to measure volume carefully when we cook, or when we do science experiments. Otherwise, our projects might not turn out as we planned. We measure volume in units like cups, pints, quarts, or gallons. We also measure in units like milliliters and liters. What are milliliters? A milliliter is a small unit of volume. One milliliter of water won't even fill a small spoon. The abbreviation for milliliter is ML. That carton has 236 milliliters of milk. This can has 355 milliliters of soda. And this bottle has 500 milliliters of water. Hmm, what else is measured in milliliters? Oh, right. This bottle has 400 milliliters of shampoo. Some medicines are measured in milliliters. This is because we only need to take a small amount. 
Sometimes you want to measure larger volumes. What are liters? No, not that kind of liter, Moby. I mean liter, as in the measurement of volume. One liter is equal to one thousand milliliters. So that means about one thousand drops of water make up one liter. The abbreviation for liter is L. It's best to use liters to measure larger volumes. This pitcher holds one liter of lemonade. It's equal to about four glasses. This bottle holds one liter. That bottle holds two liters of soda. When you need to measure larger amounts, you should use liters. How do you measure volume? For my science experiment, I need one liter of water and three milliliters of food coloring. I'm going to use a measuring cup to measure the water. When you measure the volume of a liquid, the surface will curve. Look at where the bottom of the curve lines up with the numbers on the measuring cup. Now I need three milliliters of food coloring. You can use a dropper to measure milliliters. Remember, look at where the bottom of the curve lines up with the numbers. Uh, it looks like I need a little more. Perfect. My experiment is about how water travels through a plant. So I'm putting this celery in the red water to see how the water moves. Wow! Check out the celery, Moby. Wow! How did you do that, Moby?